Hey, welcome back to 33 Hot Rod. Today we're going to start working on the electrical system. We've got all these nice little wiring harnesses that were put together by Factory 5. Should make the job pretty easy. They're all labeled. All the connectors are on them, or at least most of the connectors are already put on them. Uh, we just got to uh, figure out where they go, how to attach them, and uh, get the job done. So we're going to start out by putting the fuse block in, and then we'll start running the wire. So let's, uh, let's get started. The fuse box attaches to the pedal box in the firewall, so we had to do some drilling and some riveting. Now it was a little bit flimsy, so we had to fabricate a bracket to give it just a little bit more support. Then we punched a couple holes in the firewall and ran the front harness forward along the frame. We used some bracket clamps to secure the harnesses to the frame. There's one harness on the driver's side that has the headlight and turn signal wires, which we secured up here in the front for installation after the body goes on. And this harness also supplies the horns, which we mounted behind the radiator. We got those hooked up. And this harness also had the wires for the radiator fan, so we got that wired up. There are two harnesses on the passenger side. One is for the alternator. We got that hooked up. The other is a big bundle that all go to the starter. Those are all hooked up. We also hooked up the hot wire to the distributor and the tack wire. Then we turned our attention back to the cockpit. Here we hooked up the steering column harness, installed the inertia switch, brake switch, headlight switch, and then the ignition switch. After that we just tidied everything up and secured all the harnesses and now we're onto the back of the car. We ran the positive battery cable and the rear harness along the side of the transmission, then under the floor, then back up under the rear deck. Here it splits to the left and the right for the rear turn and the stop lights. We secured all the harnesses in the back here and we tied up the wire ends so that we can install the uh, rear lights later on in the process. The fuel pump and the fuel level sensor are fed off of this harness, so we hooked both of those up. Then we installed the battery and the battery tie downs. Hooked up the ground cable. Hooked the battery cables up. And that wraps it up. Well, we finally got the electrical system installed on the 33 hot rod. It took us a lot of time to get it done, but we went slow, we planned every step out, and I think we got it right. The proof is in the pudding. We've got to fire the car up to find out. Before we do that, we're going to double check everything and then we're going to give it a shot. Hey, uh, keep coming back to 33 Hot Rod. Subscribe, tell all your friends, share it, like us, and uh, we look forward to the next time. Uh, we're going to be working on the emergency brake and we're also going to be doing some more work on the cockpit. So until then, cheers.